talk to you a little bit about varnishing your paintings. I use a product made by Gamlin called Gamvar. It comes in <laughs> three flavors, uh, satin, matte, and gloss. And uh, depending on the aesthetic you want is the flavor you might choose. Now I keep a little bit of all three because sometimes I might want something to have one look and sometimes a completely different look. This painting is dry to the touch um, and so it's now ready to varnish. You don't have to wait a year like you used to with old-fashioned varnishes and it's just as soon as it's dry to the touch you can varnish it. This painting has a little bit of an odd uh, some of it has more solvent-free gel on it than others, and so there's a little bit of oddness right here. Not sure if you can tell that, uh, where part of it is a little shinier than the rest of it. And so before I varnish it, I'm going to uh, even that surface out a little bit. So in order to get this surface more even, where it's not shiny in some places and not in the other, uh, I need to put together sort of a concoction of things and depending on if you have Galkid light or uh, regular Galkid depends on the percentages that you'll put of each of these. Um, I happen to have Galkid light and so I'm going to mix in an old used bottle here um, put all of that in and then about a third as much then of just regular Gamsol. Shake that up. And I have a brush that I only use for this. It's, it's marked that I don't, so I don't do anything uh, bad, grab it for the wrong thing. And then I'm just going to oil this out a little bit. And so I'm just scrubbing this whole surface with it and um, then I can take then I can take a lint free cloth or a, a dry brush and get the excess off. Uh, just make sure that it's lint free if you use a cloth. Um, and if you happen to have an extra cheap brush of some kind, you can use that. And that's called oiling it out. And that gets it nice and even all over. And I let that dry for 48 hours before I come back in with my varnish. Uh, varnishing a painting protects it. And it also uh, is now a part of just the general aesthetic that you want for your painting. Um, this painting has been painted with some solvent-free gel on a linen surface and so you may be able to appreciate that it's got just a little bit of sheen to it because of that product. Um, and so I have chosen to varnish it with uh, Gamvar satin. Now that's just a personal choice. Uh, Gamvar also comes in uh, matte and gloss and so you can, can choose what you want for whatever painting style uh, you like to present. Now I have a brush here specifically uh, only used for varnishing. This one is it's a little bit like a, a bristle type brush and I've put in a little cap here some of my varnish and what you want to do is pull as much varnish out of the brush as possible. Um, you can even tap it on a little towel to get out more. As soon as this painting is dry to the touch with Gamvar, I can varnish it and I don't have to even be worried um, about any, any problem there. And because I am my brushwork has a lot of depth to it. Uh, it's important to me that I varnish this in a circular fashion like this so that it gets down underneath every little raise of the paint. And I just continue this way until I get the entire surface well covered. 
which doesn't take but just a few minutes. And I usually just double check that I got all those edges a little bit. And then I can hold it up uh, to the light and double check that I haven't missed any places. That I don't have any uh, brush hairs that have come out or anything like that. And uh, then that's all that takes. Now that will dry for about an hour just flat like this. And then after that, uh, I like to turn it, it, it where it's this way and uh, leaned against a wall so that no dust will get on the front of it as it continues to dry. And by the end of the day, I'll be able to frame this. I hope you found that helpful. Until next time.